Leave me be. Okay, this is one of the most difficult parts in the game, hands down. Uh, I do not there's a couple of tricks die. that you can use to get through it, but the third wave of guys that you have to fight is incredibly difficult. It's incredibly difficult to kill them all. Well, it's not that difficult to kill them all. They're all pretty easy to kill, but to do all to kill all these guys and protect your worthless translator is incredibly hard to do. You gotta make sure that no one touches him for these first two sections. If he even gets hurt for these first two waves of guys, I would suggest starting over. If you get hurt for the first two uh, waves of guys, I would suggest starting over. Because you're going to want all the health and all the magic that you can get for the last part. So after you walk past the end of those little lamps right there, just turn around and run back into this room right here. You can drop the translator off and take the block off the switch to drop the gate back down. <clears throat> then take out your hammer. And then by holding L1 and pressing triangle, you can do a nice little... That's not what I wanted to do right there. By holding L1 and pressing triangle, you can do that nice little move right there and damage the people from behind the door without exposing yourself or the translator to harm. It's a pretty cheap little trick, but considering how hard this part of the game is, you're going to want every advantage that you can get. Yes, it's very sneaky. Very, very sneaky stuff. That is why I like it. Good. Especially against Rat Ninja, man. Those guys are shysters for sure. Yeah, they can actually hit you through the door as well, so be careful. And there's two of them. that attack right there if you're too close to the door <clears throat> and you're not blocking he will get you or that attack right there now that the second one's dead you can put the block back on the switch on the pressure plate and move on to the truly difficult part. I would recommend saving all your magic for using Atlas Quake and only use Atlas Quake when you know you're going to be hitting the summoners as well as a large amount of other people next to them. Summoners are who you really need to target here. They keep summoning more guys, obviously, if you don't kill them. <clears throat> and they're they're pretty difficult to see because the way this little room is set up, the camera angle, uh, they can easily be off screen and you not even be able to see them. So if you see them, just relentlessly attack them while keeping an eye on the uh, translator. Also, don't forget to grab the dogs and grab the soldiers when they have the circle over their head because throwing them at other people does a lot of damage. be careful not to kick the dogs or throw the soldiers at the translator though because that will kill them pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and you raid to the top.
Titans. That's helpful as well. And then when it's almost done, hit L1. And if you have a combo larger than 25, I think, you'll do that nice little flame 